Imagine an industry tucked away in a bustling city in Pakistan's Punjab province that quietly supplies nearly 70% of the world's surgical instruments. Yes, you heard it right. This is the intriguing reality of Sialkot, the heart of Pakistan's surgical instruments industry. The journey of this industry is as fascinating as its current standing. The story begins with small and medium-sized manufacturers creating surgical tools based on specifications provided by overseas buyers. These manufacturers, operating on an original equipment manufacturer model, construct the instruments to be exported, branded, and supplied to distributors by buyers primarily from Germany, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Like any industry, the surgical instrument sector in Pakistan has faced its share of challenges. One such obstacle has been the high concentration of exports to a few geographical areas, primarily due to established supply chains and difficulties in entering new markets. With 80% of its surgical instruments exported to just 15 countries, the industry faces a high concentration risk. Yet the resilience and adaptability of this industry are evident in its steady market share. Despite these challenges, Pakistan's market share of surgical instruments has remained nearly static at 0.7 over the last decade. However, the potential of this industry extends far beyond its current achievements. With a compounded annual growth rate of a mere 2.6% from 2016 to 2020, it's clear that the industry is not performing to its full potential. The lack of continuous product and process innovations aimed at producing products that fetch higher prices in global markets contributes to Pakistan's low market share in global trade for surgical instruments. The absence of the Made in Pakistan stamp on export products and the lack of major Pakistani brands also plays a part in limiting the country's market potential. The industry, despite its achievements, finds itself in a fiercely competitive environment. Many local producers cite their fellow manufacturers as their major international competitors. Although they claim to compete based on product quality, it seems that the primary basis for competition is price. In summary, Pakistan's surgical instruments industry is a fascinating juxtaposition of success and untapped potential. The story of this industry is one of resilience, adaptability, and unyielding ambition. However, it's clear that for this industry to achieve its potential, a joint strategy encompassing product, process, and new market development is needed. With the right interventions, there's no telling how far this industry could go. So, as we continue to marvel at the intricacies of the surgical instruments industry in Pakistan, let's also hope for a future where this industry reaches its full potential, creating a stronger global presence and providing even greater contributions to the world of medical science.